Hello, and today, I hope this focuses, we're going to be doing a tier ranking video, which I've been wanting to do for so long. And today I'm going to be ranking all the Star Wars TV shows and movies and whatever the hell they came out with, not books. So this is going to be very fun for me. And first, here are the tiers. We have God Tier, which is perfection. I love it so much, it's probably a favorite. We have perfection, which is not quite God Tier, doesn't get the emotion out of me, but it is still perfection. Don't hate it means I enjoy it. I do rewatch it, obviously, because I watch all of these, but definitely not a favorite. Kind of crap, which means it's still something I can watch, but definitely not something I like watching. And then we have what even is this? <laughs> Which is, like, not even canon in my mind. So, and I just added a tier for not seen because this is in my template. So, there's stuff that I haven't seen here. And without further ado, let's get into the video. And I hope this is as enjoyable for you as it is for me. Right. So, I'm sorry for the focusing. I don't know why it does that. So, let's start with Mandalorian. Now, Mandalorian is a TV show that, surprisingly... This is going to be controversial, but I didn't like it. I was bored. <laughs> I was beyond bored. I just kept watching for Baby Yoda because he was cute, but to be honest, it was really boring. I watched, like, I think three episodes. So I'm going to put it in not seen, but it would kind of go in kind of crap because it's... It was just boring for me. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm a gigantic fan of Star Wars, but boring for me. I guess the Western setting just wasn't my cup of tea. Then we have Solo. Now, Solo is a movie that a lot of people didn't like. They hated on it, in my opinion, way too much. It wasn't that bad. I mean, for what it was, it was perfectly fine. I mean, I personally wasn't a person that really liked Han Solo as a character, but... I mean, the movie was fine, it was enjoyable to watch, I even watched it again when I got home when it came out, but didn't mind it, not my favorite, but I'm going to put it in Don't Hate It. It didn't hate it at all. Han Solo isn't a character that I like, but I enjoyed the movie. It was enjoyable, not a favorite, just kind of there. I think people gave it way too much hate, and these really aren't <laughs> in order, but Revenge of the Sith... I mean, do I even need to comment, or... It's going there, it's staying there. If anyone disagrees, fight me. <laughs> I will definitely fight you if you... Okay, let's hope this doesn't move again. So, I don't need to comment on this. This is the best Star Wars movie ever. The plot development, the characters, the score, the fight scenes, I, I love it. I love it to death. There was a four-hour cut of it originally, and I hope, I hope they release it someday. And yes, there's not much to say about this. It is perfection. I adore it. And yeah, I think people who don't like it don't have taste. <laughs> Kidding, obviously, but God tier, I don't need to say anything else. Now we have Force Awakens. I was very into it when it came out, but to be honest, I was quite young. <laughs> it came out in like, what, 2015? I think, yeah, I was 14 years old. I loved it. It was the first Star Wars movie that I ever saw in theaters, but watching it back, it's god, god awful. <laughs> I mean, there's like two interesting scenes in it, and the rest is basically New Hope revamped. So, it's going in kind of crap. Can't help it. Like, just no. It's not in the don't hate it because I didn't enjoy it. Now, objectively, we're doing this based on now. So I don't really enjoy it because I think it's a carbon copy. It's not out of canon, like, terrible. Like, I don't want it to exist, but mm, kind of crap. You can't. Now we have Last Jedi, which is also going to be controversial, <laughs> very, but it's going straight into Don't Hate It. It's definitely not on this level of, like, everything pre-Disney, but I didn't hate it, just like Solo. Obviously, the only part they really enjoyed was the Raylo part, but didn't hate it. I think people hate it too much, and when you, I mean, 
when you reject all of Disney <laughs> as not canon, you're going to have a better time. Like, I definitely don't consider the sequel trilogy part of my Star Wars, but for what it was, I didn't hate it. Then we have Phantom Menace, <laughs> which is my least favorite of the prequels, but I still love it. So I'm going to put it at the top of Don't Hate It. Definitely better than these. It's like on a whole other level, but it's not perfection. <laughs> Definitely had a bit of a bit of a boring plot. There wasn't that much Anakin yet, and could have been better, but I still adore it. It's my favorite of the prequels, and is definitely better than these two. <laughs> Ooh, I just saw I put Solo in front of Last Jedi. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, Last Jedi. I hate. A, I. I mean, I don't like Han a bit more than I like Raylo, so yeah, this seems about right. Right, next we have Attack of the Clones, which I don't even care. I know the dialogue was cheesy, but it's going straight into God tier for me. I love these two movies. I mean, yeah, Hayden. <laughs> Hayden's in them, but I, I love them. I love the these two so much. Attack of the Clones is mostly regarded as crap because of the bad dialogue, but I love the story, love the development, love the soundtrack, obviously. I think Obi-Wan's branch of the movie is fascinating, and their love story, <laughs> like, cheesy stuff aside, I adore it. This is where we got across the stars, and I'm sorry, it's God tier. Not Revenge of the Sith level, but... I adore them. I just, I like, I could watch these two movies for comfort, and I have. I've been known to just be down and play Attack of the Clones. So, I will hear no hate <laughs> about Attack of the Clones on this channel. Then we have Rogue One, which wasn't a bad movie. Really wasn't. But, it's going here. I'm probably not going to put anything that was Disney Star Wars into perfection. <laughs> I can't. It's definitely better than these two. I thought it fit better into the old Star Wars, but it still wasn't a favorite. Like, I, I, I'm not capable of really caring <laughs> about a movie if it has no Jedi or the Force. I mean, yeah, it had the blind guy, but I, I don't know. I'm just not that attached to anyone who isn't a Jedi in this franchise. So it's there. I still prefer, obviously, this, but it's definitely the best of Disney Star Wars by far. Then we have Empire Strikes Back, which goes into perfection. I am one of those people that is not a big fan of the original trilogy. I mean, I definitely adore them as the story and as the continuation of Anakin's storyline, and I love Luke, and I enjoy them, but not, not in this level. Just no. <laughs> I grew up with the prequels. No, <laughs> they're perfection, definitely. I enjoy Empire Strikes Back a lot, but it's actually not my favorite of the trilogy, kind of. I know it is everyone's. So, let's move on to New Hope, <laughs> which this could be controversial, but... Yeah, it has to go here. <laughs> As I said, everything from the original Star Wars is better than the Disney stuff, but just no, I don't, I don't like New Hope. I never did. I liked it a lot more after the book, but it's still so boring for me, and the visuals just bother me. I mean, I can't. Maybe I'm just spoiled by this CGI, but it belongs here. Don't hate it, just definitely not a favorite. Attack of, uh, I mean, Attack of the Clones. Phantom Menace is still... A lot more enjoyable. Now that I'm actually looking at it, maybe Phantom Menace like belongs here. <laughs> I like it a lot more than these. I think I'm okay with this so far. I I'm gonna rearrange them in the end. Then we have this, which is what Resistance not seen. I'm not even gonna no no interest in it. Don't care. <laughs> then we have Return of the Jedi, which definitely goes into perfection, but it's the weakest. Like the beginning, dear God, I. I was always so disgusted by watching the beginning. I just had this uncomfortable feeling. I hate it. And the whole Ewok thing was way too long. But I love it a lot. It is perfection, definitely, as it wraps up the entire Anakin story. And I love it for that. 
I'm going to rearrange these later. <laughs> then we have Rise of Skywalker. Now we have only a couple more left. So Rise of Skywalker <laughs> is just going straight here. We don't talk about this movie, we don't acknowledge it, it just goes here. <laughs> what even is this? Why does it exist? Who thought this was a good idea? I was very upset, just leave it here, we're not even gonna comment. I don't want to acknowledge the existence of this movie, so it goes here. Then we have Rebels, which I've only seen the key scenes, I never actually watched the show because I think it's crappy. <laughs> so we're gonna just put it there. I mean, I it's not not seen because I saw a lot of stuff from it, but kind of crap, I don't don't really like it and then we have I'm not even gonna comment that much in this because I didn't really watch it so and we have Clone Wars which clearly goes like here god tier absolute I think this is probably my favorite Star Wars content I noticed that whoever did this thing didn't include the Clone Wars movie which clearly goes with the show for me it's I consider it one and it's got tier. I think it's the best Star Wars content and I feel people are missing out when they don't watch it because it adds so much depth to the prequels, to Anakin, to Obi-Wan, to the Jedi in general, the Force. I think George Lucas really peaked with this because he got to have more time and more liberty and it was sort of for kids but it develops into something that's just beautiful and I love it so much and I rewatch it and I can't believe I didn't grow up watching it I watched it as an adult and it was everything to me so this is definitely got tier <laughs> and yeah I think I like it more than a movie this is definitely my favorite Star Wars content and now for these I'm gonna make someone else mad and I don't care <laughs> but I think it's gonna go like this I mean I really really love the prequels and between these two, I actually think it's going to go like this. So yeah, I think this is my tier ranking. These are my favorites of all time. These are excellent, brilliant. These are some that I didn't hate, but didn't love also. These are sort of crap. I mean, I can watch them, but I wouldn't really want to. Then this doesn't exist. And these are... Either I haven't seen or I haven't seen past episode 3 because I was extremely bored. So, jump on <laughs> into the comments. Definitely disagree with me because I know I have a lot of controversial opinions about Star Wars. I mean, I was a prequel kid, so it, it's kind of visible here. But disagree with me, comment, let me know what your ranking would be, and I will see you in my next video.